Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 9 of Paintball Coding. In this episode, we are going to finally add the lobby sign that you guys have all wanted, and we are going to implement a very simple scoreboard into the project. Um, we should be able to finish up all of the coding in this episode, then the final episode will be testing, and you know I'm sure that there will be some bugs, so, uh, some bug fixing in the final episode. Um, as far as servers, I, in the last video I made yesterday, I asked if anyone had a server and I could borrow it, let me know. Um, I got a bunch of replies to that. So, I do have a bunch of servers from which I can choose. So, I don't think I need any more. I mean, I guess you could offer me your server if you wanted to. But, I do already have a few people that have offered their servers to me. Um, and as far as testing, uh, I'm probably just... It, the testing is going to be pretty quick. It's not going to be like a whole big thing. And I'll probably just get a few other people to go on and do the testing. So let's go ahead and get started. I think first we'll go ahead and do the lobby sign. So we're going to go ahead and make a new listener class, and we're going to call it lobby sign. Then we are going to say, uh, it's going to implement listener. And, there we go. Now, uh, I did make a video, uh, I think it was like, it was very early on in the bucket coding series, so, you know, it should be somewhere in there with the signs, I think it was a video that teaches you how to make, like, heel signs, um, so you should be able to apply that here, but since I've gotten so many requests, I will just go ahead and do it here. So, first we're going to say if exclamation point e dot get action equals action dot right click block return. So if they don't right click a block, then we're going to return. Then we are going to say if exclamation point e dot get block sorry e dot I believe it's get clicked block yeah get clicked block dot get type equals material dot sign return. I think we also want to say and exclamation point e dot get clicked block dot get type equals material dot sign post I think we want that as well. So, we're, if they don't right-click a block, return. If the block that they right-click is not a sign, and it's not a sign post, return. Then we can go ahead and say, sign s equals sign e dot get clicked block dot get state. And you need to cast it, and it's block. You need to cast it to state, and not not the block, but to the block state. If you cast it to the block, it will not work. I've made that mistake before. Then, um, let's go ahead and say that our format is going to be, um, it'll be like pogo ball, join arena, and then number. So, just like that. So, then we are going to say, uh, if s.getLine and remember, this is Java, so line 1 is actually line 0. So in this case, if s.getLine0 dot contains, and I'll explain why we're doing this, pogo ball, like that, then we are going to say int i equals negative 1. Try, and we've, we already, in fact, we don't even need to do that. We can just go to our join and just copy that. Except if we have an exception, which we will call ex, then we'll just ignore the exception. Or no, we'll actually, actually, yeah, let's say, um, we can severe message e.get, sorry, 
this is exception ex because we already have an e variable e dot get player and we're going to tell them that s dot get line for two which is actually line three is not a valid number and return and this is s dot get line two and okay that should be good and then we're going to finally say e dot get player dot uh... what is it run uh... dot perform command join uh... and it'll be pogo ball join id and it's easier to do that because Hang on one second. What is wrong with this? ID. Oh yes. And it's easier to do it that way because um, when I then basically that's the equivalent of the player running the command. So when they run the command, all of the checks in here will be run, and you know it's you don't need to copy and paste that code a second time. So that is all you need. That is all we need for that. And let's go ahead and make a. Um, a, uh, when a sign is changed, public void on sign change, and this is a sign change event E. And notice that I've just ignored the second line, the join arena line, because I guess it doesn't really matter what you write there. You could write join, join arena or join arena number, whatever you want to do there. So the sign change event is called whenever the text of a, of a sign is changed. And in this case, we're going to want to check if the um, if it's supposed to be a pogo ball sign. We're going to make sure that they have enough lines, and then we're actually going to give it a color so that they know it was made successfully. So we are going to say if e dot get sorry it's e dot get block. I believe I could have sworn that you could do e dot get sign. Um, oh yes, yeah, so that's right. You don't need to get the block. You can say if e dot get lines dot length is less than three, so if there are less than three lines, then what we're going to do is we're going to say e dot get block dot break naturally, and then message manager dot get instance dot severe to e dot sorry e dot get player and um, it will say a pogo ball sign must have at least three lines and then we're going to return so if they do it wrong we're going to break the sign block give it back to them and tell them what they did wrong and then we're gonna stop it then we're going to say oh and before we do that actually we need to say if exclamation point e dot get line zero equals um, pogo ball uh, return and also and it's not dot, it's dot equals ignore case pogo ball and we need to say and if uh, we need to say if e dot get lines dot length is greater than zero because if we try to, because if what if they post, what if they give a line that has nothing on it, this listener is assuming that they do, so we fixed that. So now we're checking for the arguments, and we are then going to go ahead and copy this code, and instead it's going to be just uh, e dot get line two, which should return the number, and if it does not work, then it will say it's not a valid number. And we also need to call e dot get block dot uh, what is it break naturally dot break naturally okay and so then we're just checking if the id and we don't even need that we're just gonna do, go like that so we're attempting to get an integer from that line and if it doesn't work then we're stopping them there then we can go ahead and say s dot set sorry s dot oh no it's e dot set line zero to um, let's go ahead and say check color dot green plus this plus check color dot blue 
plus pogo ball plus check color dot green plus end. So then that'll just set the line to be pogo ball. And we do have if s dot get line dot contains pogo ball. This does. Now you could copy and say if it equals, you know, we could just say if it dot equals that that's excuse me, I think that's probably a better way to go about doing it. So that should work for the lobby sign. I know I'm going to forget if I don't do it now, so let's register it. Uh it's number three, so bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events new lobby sign this import lobby sign good now we can finally check that off of our list and now all we need to do is scoreboard I'm gonna make this really quick so let's go ahead into our arena and say um, private scoreboard SB private what is it private uh, objective O I believe and then we also need I believe a private score uh, red blue I believe that's what we need so then when we go ahead and set it up we can go ahead and say SB equals bucket dot get server dot uh, create not dot get new sorry maybe it's oh yeah scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard we can say O equals SB dot um, register new objective I think it's uh, I'm trying to remember. I believe we want to register it as um, scores, and I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and we'll just call it team scores. And I believe that the second thing is dummy because we don't want it to, we want to influence it ourselves. Then I think we want to say red equals o dot get score for bucket dot get server dot get offline player for check color dot red plus red and just copy that and we'll say blue check color dot blue for blue and the last thing that we're gonna do there's two more tiny little steps at the very bottom, uh, not the very bottom, but let's just say right here, public void add um, add death for player P, and we will go. We will say um, team T equals get team for P. I believe yes. Okay, and then we can go ahead and say if T equals uh, team dot red, then um, blue. So that means that the blue dot set score to blue dot get score plus one, or I think plus plus. No, plus one. Else red dot set score red dot get score plus one so then at the end we uh, finally we just need a player death event that says um, arena manager dot get, get, get arena e dot get entity dot remove player before we do that we need to say arena manager dot get instance dot get arena e dot get entity dot add death for e dot get entity. Okay, and I just remembered one more thing that we need to do is in the arena, when we have the um, add player, we need to say p dot set scoreboard to sb, and in remove player, we need to say um, p dot remove no, p dot set scoreboard to I believe it's um scoreboard manager no sorry 
I think we want to do bucket dot. Or no, I guess we probably just want to set it to null. I assume that that should work. All right, that should do it for scoreboard. So that should hopefully be it for all the coding. Let's just add a plugin.yml because I have not done that yet, but I will do it now. Name Pogo Ball version 1.0 main me.pogosic29dev.pogoball.pogoball. Um, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, author pogo stick 29 description um, a fully functional uh, paintball plugin. And then we just need to register our commands and what was the command? Where do we have our command manager? And the command is pogo ball. Pogo ball usage slash command args optional args like that. Um, description is uh, pogo ball command, and we're gonna add aliases is uh, pb. And let me just check one thing. Uh, it was pointed out to me that we don't have a prefix in here, so I don't know why we don't have a prefix in here. So I'm actually going to go to the lobby sign, and we're just going to use this prefix. So that will be our pre prefix. Green bracket, blue pogo ball, green closing. And then when we do send message, we just do prefix plus color plus message. And that is all we need to do. So that's quick adding a prefix. Alright, that is officially, hopefully, the end of Pogo Ball coding. In the 10th and final episode of Pogo Ball, um, I will get a few people and do a little testing to fix any bugs that may be in the plugin. Um, after that, you know, uh, I will post the final version of code in the description. Um, I will also post this, uh, I will post an exported jar file of this on Bucket Dev for server owners to download a compiled version of it. Uh, you can feel free to use it on your server, uh, you know, any server that you want, but uh, if there's any chance it could give credit, that would be pretty awesome. I believe... No, I did not. Okay, so that is all for this episode. Uh, we are pretty much done with Pogo Ball, so uh, I hope you guys liked this. And to answer a few comments I've gotten, I do not want to make another mini game. The whole point of this was to teach you guys about game structure, like, um, you know, how to make the arenas and the commands and the listeners and register everything like that. So I don't want to make another survival games or a, or a splee for a spleg or whatever you guys want me to make because I believe that you can take what you've learned and you can use this structure to make, you know, any game that you want. You just need to add and remove and modify the components to your liking. So I will not make another mini game. I, I just don't want to. Uh, I will, however, go back to the regular bucket coding and I will start a GitHub mini series that will teach you guys how to create repos and push and pull repos and all that good stuff that is extremely helpful. Uh, so as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn. If you liked this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.